Hey guys, thanks you for stopping by the channel. Hopefully I'm not too loud. I'm messing around with my mic. All right, well, if you're here, you're here for my non-spoiler quick review and discussion of The Atom Project. Uh, for those of you that have Netflix, it did drop today. Uh, I got a chance to watch it earlier today. So I'm going to just talk about it briefly without any spoilers uh, just after this. All right, guys, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, like the stream if you can, uh, and hope you enjoy this. So, uh, yeah, so I just got done watching it. And my first impression is I, I loved it. And is it cheesy? Yes. Does it have humor throughout the whole film? Pretty much. Yes. You know, does it have humor in moments it shouldn't have? Of course. Uh, I, I would think if you're a Ryan Reynolds fan, and if you've seen his movies, uh, you know, past movies, you would come to expect that. You know, you got that in Free Guy, uh, any pretty much any movie that he's ever starred in, he really has that humor. And um, for those of you who don't know what it's about, but he's basically from the year 2050. And he travels back in time to the year 2022 and encounters himself, his 12 year old self. And then the adventure ensues from there. And I'm that's that's all I'm going to say as far as plot line goes. But I do want to say that obviously we know Ryan Reynolds. I, I I thought he was very entertaining. But the kid that plays him, Walter Scoble, the younger version of him, the twelve year old version of him, he embodies Ryan Reynolds so well. Like his humor, uh, his humor is towards it. The humor towards his mom, like the quick sarcastic humor that Ryan Reynolds has towards his mom, uh, played by Jennifer Garner. Uh, who else is in this? Yeah, so Jennifer Garner uh, plays the mom. And you can just tell that, you know, that's a young, that's how Ryan Reynolds probably would have been at 12 years old. So I do like that. Uh, and all the, look, the other cast that's in it, we got Zoe Saldana. Um, I'm not going to say who she plays, but she's in it. Mark Ruffalo. I think from the trailers, you know, Mark Ruffalo plays the dad. Uh, I really don't think that's a spoiler uh, just by saying that. Uh, Catherine Keener actually is, does a really good job uh, playing her character. And again, I'm not going to go into who she plays, but she does a very good job as well. I and mean, I also love Catherine uh, Keener as well. Um, and that for the most part, those are the those are the main actors. And those are the main stars that you would probably know. Uh, as like I said, Jennifer Garner, Ryan Reynolds, of course, Mark Ruffalo and uh, Zoe Saldana and Catherine Keener. But the story itself, as a guy who loves Star Wars, and actually you can, I don't know if you can tell, like right above my head, uh, is the uh, Back to the Future replica uh, license plate. So fans, and of course I have like Back to the Future dolls right behind me too. Um, as a fan of Back to the Future, as a fan of Star Wars, and as a fan of Ryan Reynolds, it's literally like Ryan Reynolds, Star Wars, Back to the Future all meet up combined and it's in this movie and look there are parts as i said that maybe the humor doesn't work in that scene or it's like okay it's a lot of humor or it was a couple of parts that were a little unbelievable you know or or whatever so i'm not going to say I, i'm not here to say this movie is perfect this is far from perfect but look if you're obviously at home just chilling you know whether you got some uh, downtime or you want to maybe put it in the background i would probably recommend paying attention but I think it's a it's it's a solid movie, you know, and and I've come to realize, you know, throughout all this non spoiler or spoiler reviews I've tried to do on this channel in the last couple of years. I do know that everybody's taste and everybody's opinion in movies are different and it's not it, what what it comes down to is how the movie makes you feel at that very given uh, time or what's what's in that movie. What are the concepts? You know, what are the makings? What are the, what's the DNA of that film? And there are certain elements in this film that hit me for personal reasons. And that's what movies do, you know? And that's why sometimes somebody might perceive or receive a movie way differently than we do. And we, you can sit around and be like, wait a minute, you like that movie? 
and you 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 stop and think you know you don't you don't understand but there's just so many layers sometimes to liking a movie other than turning on the TV sitting down watching it and taking it for what it is whether it's the story or whatever it is or maybe the actors that are in it but then there's elements to a movie where it might hit you in a soft spot or it might trigger something trigger a memory good or bad and those are the things that sometimes we resonate as fans of film and those are the elements that probably, or not even probably, that make us love a film more than the next person. So whether I'm looking at this film through those types of goggles and through that that perception, I can sit here and admit that. But I still think it's a good film. I think it's definitely worth watching. Again, it's entertaining. It's got Ryan Reynolds. So if you're a Ryan Reynolds fan, you pretty much know what you're, you're going to expect in this film. But it also had some emotional elements that, again... Could be personal, could have been tugging at my heartstrings because of things that I have, you know, have gone through in the past, but they were there. And for that, for that reason, that reason alone, it, it made the movie that more enjoyable. So uh, I'm not going to take up too much more of your time. So I just wanted to go over that. Uh, I might do a, a spoiler review uh, depending on whether, I don't know, let me, guys, let me know if you would want me to do a spoiler review after you see it, of course, obviously. And I'm going to see if anybody I know have seen it already too. And maybe I can do a group spoiler review with them. If not, I can always come and do it myself. But uh, I guys, uh, tonight, so it's around 2.30. So in about five hours, I'm going to also be uh, dropping, or we're going to be doing live, the uh, my all-time live-action Spider-Man ranked films. And uh, obviously personal, my personal list. And I'm going to be doing it with, a couple other people i think and we're all going to give give you guys our favorite spider-man films ranked live action live action so uh look out for that and um and that's pretty much it and then next week i got my scream spoiler review uh a week from today so it might be some pop-up videos from now until then we'll see but for the most part doing this one tonight spider-man live action films ranked and then next friday my scream spoiler review guys i hope you enjoyed this stream i do want to say if you do follow me or you do subscribe uh the last couple of videos i did i probably seemed a little out of it and that's because i've been juicing and my juicing ended yesterday but i'm not gonna lie i cheated my last day i finally broke down and i said i gotta fucking eat something because i was either gonna tear somebody's head off or i was just gonna pass out so uh, I didn't get sick. I didn't have anything like that, but I was just so hungry. So last night I gave in and I, I uh, ordered like a chicken Caesar salad wrap and I had that. So I had a couple of leftovers. And I'm just going to have like in between meals and I'm actually going to eat something today. So I felt very down. So if I seem like out of it and I seem like, you know, I'm talking like this, I'm sorry, um, won't happen again. So hopefully I'm a little bit more bubbly and a little bit more uh, loud, I guess, or if, I don't know if that's a good thing or not. But yes, so stay tuned for more content, guys. Like I said, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Look, I know I'm a small-time YouTuber, but I'm trying to grow. I've been trying to grow since I'm eight, so we'll see. Guys, have a great day, and yeah, that's it. Have a great day, and enjoy your weekend.